I am the oracle. Through me, all things hidden are revealed, and the unseen made visible. View now the world through my all-seeing eye. Many have counted the blessings and benefits that have come from the gift of fire, but who could ever truly count the costs to both gods and man? What could hope to balance the long suffering associated with this event? Far off the coasts of the known world, past the pillars of Heracles and the six days sail from the British Isles, the mythical island some called Ultima Thule was overcome by Jupiter's wrath over the consequences of fire. Plato wrote of the island that there occurred violent earthquakes and floods, and in a single day and night of misfortune, all your warlike men in a body sank into the earth, and the island of Atlantis in like manner disappeared in the depths of the sea. This period was called the Santilia Aeon, the end of the age, a cycle of existence marked at its end by catastrophe. The flood of Plato's Atlantis, some 9,000 years prior to his writings, could have been the end of the second age of man, listed in the Boeotian poet Hesiod's works and days. In the poem, Hesiod listed five ages of man, the Golden Age, the Silver Age, which was destroyed by Jupiter with a flood, the Bronze Age, the Heroic Age, and the current Iron Age. The cycle seen in each age of life, death, and rebirth was represented by the image of a serpent swallowing its own tail, which the Greek philosophers called the Ouroboros, the tail devourer. It is believed that the cycle will turn yet again someday, when Jupiter finally destroys the current Iron Age of man in lieu of a new age and what lies beyond.